This tutorial describes how Imaris can be used for quantifying three-dimensional biofilm images. Imaris features will be shown using the confocal 3D human pathogen Vibrio cholerae image. The image is courtesy of Dr. Fong from the University of California, Santa Cruz. The image shows two strains of Vibrio cholerae cultured together. The green strain lacks Vibrio polysaccharide and the red one lacks matrix proteins. To examine 3D biofilm structures, you can either use the surpass volume rendering mode or you can use various slice view options slice, selection, gallery, or easy 3D. Use the slice view for individual slices. Use selection view for XY, XZ, YZ views and navigation to any position in 3D. Use gallery view for viewing individual slices simultaneously. Use easy 3D view for 3D projection along Z. To characterize a biofilm, you can use surpass mode to create surfaces and or spots objects by segmenting the image based on color and intensity. Start the surface creation wizard by clicking on the surface button. During the surface creation, all segmentation parameters can be customized in accordance with your requirements. In this tutorial, we will process the whole image, so begin by clicking on Next. Next, select the source channel. To reduce noise, the smooth option is already selected. Based on the image properties, the value for the surface area detailed level is calculated. As the threshold option, absolute intensity is pre-selected. Click on Next. In the viewing area, a surface threshold preview is displayed. To change the threshold value, you can either click on the histogram and drag the line, or enter the numerical value in the field. These changes are instantly visible in the viewing area. In the next step, you can sort and filter the resulting surfaces objects by various criteria. The Classify Surfaces step can enhance the interpretation of results. Select the filter type by selecting a variable from the drop down list and then define the filter values. To complete surface creation, click on Finish. The newly created surfaces objects are displayed in the viewing area. Once an object is created, all its statistical values can be located under the Statistics tab. There you can find the fluorescence intensity data and measurements for the created objects. There are three tabs, Overall, Detailed and Selection. The Overall table provides an overview of all values that are not measured on a per-object basis. Under the Detailed tab, the pull-down list provides three types of statistical calculations – specific values, average values and all values. In the specific values, a second pull-down list displays the available variables such as volume, area or fluorescence intensity data. 
These variables can be used for determining biovolume, biofilm compactness, or the ratio between the number of dead and living cells per biofilm. The average table shows the five value summaries minimum, maximum, mean, median, and standard deviation. For the selected variable, the sum and total number of all values are also given. Finally, the Selection tab displays values only for the selected object or group of objects. For some further analysis, you can export the data either as a comma-separated values file or directly as an Excel file. The full case study related to the data used for this video tutorial can be found on our web page under the title Visualizing Biofilms in Three Dimensions. If you have questions about the features mentioned here or other features found within Imaris, please contact your local sales or support team. Thank you for watching this video.